The value we pass to the resolve function is called success value. It will be received by the unfulfilled callback. The value we pass to the reject function is called failure reason. It will be received by the unrejected callback. Success value and failure reason will reach unfulfilled and unrejected unchanged. But there is one exception, the thenable object. The thenable object is an object with a method under the name then. It only works with the resolve function. So, what difference will it make? Let's find out. We pass an object to the resolve function. Inside the object, we add a method, then. For now, we only console log a text. Next, we disable the then method of the promise object. Let's refresh the page and see what happens. We can see the then method has been triggered, but there is no output from the finally method. Let's open the promise object. We can see it is still in the pending status. The finally method will only be triggered after the promise has been settled. So, how do we settle the promise? The then method will receive the resolve and reject function. We can use them to settle the promise. The value we pass to the inner resolve function will be the success value. Let's test the program. We can see this time the finally method has been triggered. The promise object is now in the resolved status. It has also received the success value, but the problem is why hasn't the success value been output? To output the success value, we need to restore the then method of the promise object. The success value will be sent to unfulfilled. We can see now we have three outputs. The first one comes from the then method. The second one comes from unfulfilled, which gets the success value from the inner resolve function. The last one comes from the finally method. Next, let's try the reject function. We can see we still have three outputs. The first one comes from the then method. The second one comes from the catch method. And the last one from the finally method.